video, I said that acceleration is directly proportional to force and inversely proportional to mass, and we can represent that with Newton's second law, A equals F over M, as shown here. Acceleration and net force both have arrows over them, indicating that they are vectors, meaning that direction is important. The direction of a force certainly matters. If you push on a cart that way, it has a much different effect than if you push with the same amount of force straight down. Again, force is a vector, and acceleration is also a vector. And we're going to learn more about what the direction of acceleration means in a moment. Newton's second law, because both of those are vectors, it turns out that mathematically, acceleration and net force have to both be in the same direction. But then, as you'll see in one of my PowerPoint slides, acceleration and velocity are not always in the same direction. And these two things will sometimes seem contradictory to students, but they're in fact not contradictory at all. So let's think of some cases where that could happen. One would be where the acceleration and velocity are both to the right, so they are in the same direction. And for that to happen, we have to have it moving to the right, so we'll use the cart as our object, so this is a frictionless cart, and if we apply a force to the right, there is a net force on the cart acting to the right. And if you have a net force to the right, then the acceleration is also to the right, and it speeds up. So the first case, velocity to the right, acceleration to the right, net force to the right, it's moving that way and speeding up. Case two, the cart has a velocity to the right, but the net force is to the left. I'll give it a push just to get it started, but then we're going to analyze the part once it's already in motion. So the cart was moving to the right. My hand, my finger, was pushing it to the left. Now the cart didn't move to the left. It was still moving to the right while I applied a force to the left. The net force was to the left, and therefore the acceleration was to the left. Acceleration and net force are always in the same direction. So it was moving to the right, but it was slowing down because of the force that was acting against it. And again, this is a frictionless cart, so we're neglecting friction and, and it also air resistance in this case. So as it moves along, we'll say that my finger is the only horizontal force, which makes figuring out the net force very easy if there's only one force acting that direction. 